Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to your NBA update. I'm Sophia and today we're going to talk about everything you need to know right now about basketball. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. So starting off with some free agency, things are kind of winding down as teams are getting all their rosters filled up, but free agent forward Bol Bol has just agreed to a one-year contract with the Phoenix Suns. This 23-year-old had record highs in his fourth season of the NBA, and him being 7'2", he's going to add some really great height for the Phoenix Suns for players like Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and DeAndre Ayton. Bulbul had an average of about 9 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 block per game. Suns point guard Cameron Payne plus a future second round pick are being sent to the San Antonio Spurs. They will also acquire three second round picks from the Orlando Magic for an exchange for a 2026 first round swap. This whole deal is going to be really beneficial for the Suns because from this Payne exchange, they will save a total of $26.4 million of luxury taxes. Some really interesting news coming from Arizona, from the Phoenix Suns and WNBA team, the Mercury. They're really changing the way they're going to broadcast sports. They're going to stop broadcasting on their traditional way that they've been doing it in the most recent times because Bailey Sports has not been able to match their offer. Bailey Sports is actually owned by the Diamond Sports Group and they've been in charge of, you know, putting all these games um, on the sports casts for a while now, but they actually filed for bankruptcy and they're not able to batch the Suns and Mercury's offer. So what they're going to be doing is they're gonna be putting their games on free broadcast television. This is something that hasn't been done for a very long time. And you know, a lot of sports fans are really happy that this is happening because it's kind of like the olden days when, I don't even remember these days, but apparently way back when, all sports were just on the free cable television. It wasn't something that you had to search for. You had to like upgrade for extra channels. It wasn't something where you had to like pay a subscription service to access the games. So this is really gonna take out all of that and just make it easier for people to access games. The Suns and Mercury will have a non-national exclusive collaboration with gray television which is a station that owns other little stations so if you're in arizona be sure to look out for ktvk and kphe those tv stations will be having the games this is really interesting because matt ishbia the new suns owner he's been making a lot of changes to the suns and he's not afraid to make them he actually said something about all this happening and he's in support of it and he said Quote, I am proud that we are at the forefront of this shift to make the game more accessible, which not only serves our fan base, but also helps build the future NBA and WNBA fans. And I honestly couldn't agree more. They're not the only people doing this though. The Utah Jazz is following suit. They're going to start streaming on their local television stations, as well as developing a direct to consumer sales plan basically i don't know what the details are of that but they will be working on the construction of that which i think is a great idea because if you're only a fan of one team you might only watch their games so you might as well just subscribe to their team so overall i think this is a good thing and i'm excited to see what happens from all this happening lebron james he's changing his number from number six to 23 in commemoration of bill russell who is a celtics legend Last summer, Russell passed away at age 88 and the NBA retired his number six across the league. Russell was an 11 time champion for the Celtics and a five time MVP and a 12 time all-star, but get this, he was also the first black head coach. And when he was head coach, he won his last two rings as a player coach for Boston. And Russell was honored in 2009 when the MVP trophy was named after him. Wayne Wade is joining the ownership group of the WNBA team, the Chicago Skies. Dwayne is a Chicago native and he was actually put on by his mother, Jolinda, who took him to a game 
really early in his life as she was a big fan way before he was. It looks like now he's putting his money where his mouth is. He obviously supports the WNBA and he's gonna be a part of it, which I think is a really beautiful thing. But this isn't the only ownership group that he's been a part of. He's been a part of the Utah Jazz and MLS Real Salt Lake. And that's all we have for you today. I really enjoyed making this video and I'm really appreciative for everybody who made to the end of this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment what you think below because I always love hearing all of your opinions. And I'll see you guys next time.